Libras, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot, and this is your reading for November, mid-November to the start of December 2023. As always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. <clears throat> Don't know why my voice cracked, that was weird. Okay, Page of Wands, Curiosity. I feel like you need to follow your curiosity moving into the second half of November. Have you been avoiding the things you felt called to do? Is there a book sitting there that you meant to start? Is there somebody you've been meaning to call? Is there someone you've, somewhere you've been meaning to go? There's advice saying to follow it, to travel, to follow that thing that's like sparks your interest. Oh, two of cups. Could be to do with love, I feel like it is. Now the Two of Cups has come out. Two of Cups is usually, it doesn't have to be love, it's just a relationship of some type, so it could be platonic. But I felt love straight away around this. There's someone that's like a friend first, love a second, that you feel called in their direction. You feel called towards them. There's a spark here. You're being told to follow a spark. I don't know why, I feel like changing this tarot deck. Every other sign has stuck to the same one. I feel like changing it. It's random. Okay. What's going on, Libra? Temperance? No. Where did it go? Where did it go? I've lost it. I've got it. Sorry about that. It was temperance too. So temperance here, balancing the light and the dark. So if you're a Libra, you might be with a, pe um, a pentacle, an earth sign, or you might be about to meet an earth sign. But there's something about contrasts, opposites, blending here and making almost like somebody's very energetic and the other person's very calm and grounded and somebody's very fiery and the other person's very emotional. It's, it's like you're opposite, you've met your match, you're gonna meet your match. They're like the perfect, it's like chemistry, like it's just the perfect combination between two people. And with the Six of Cups, you can be children together, you can act silly together, you can be playful and fun together. What else is going on for you? The world whoa big stuff there's a new cycle coming as well for you where you're just a whole new you or you're getting a chance to be like a new version of yourself almost like if you're traveling you get to take on the role of whoever you want to be because you're not constricted by the way that people used to see you if that makes sense if you're moving countries or you're just going traveling you know like when you're around the same people and you're around the same community you feel a little bit like people's expectations of you seem to kind of sculpt the person you've become because they won't expect you to move outside of that box but if you're traveling you get to be a new person every day if that makes sense you get to try on a lot of different personalities or characters I don't know it feels like maybe you're at that age where you're kind of figuring out who you want to be or you're just wanting to change a little bit but you're not sure who you want to be or who you want to change into or even this could be around your job you're not sure what you want to do moving forward but you're getting to try on a little bit different jobs or something you're getting to try different things and move into different areas what else what else is going on for libra oh ace of wands again that tried to come out in a different deck because i said about the spark ace of wands is a new passion here and queen of pentacles You could be very passionate about someone. Someone's very passionate about you, though, I feel. You're very much a homebody. You very much like your own space. You like your own, the comfort of your own home, making things more beautiful. Somebody's very attracted to you and your ability to make everything around you beautiful, no matter where you are or the tools you're given. Like, I don't know why it's coming through. That will resonate for someone. It's like, you just managed to make gold out of, and just managed to make anything beautiful and this person really admires that six of cups now coming out that was on the bottom of the deck so somebody has a very playful energy towards you this could be someone you used to know when you were little king of pentacles there as well like perfect match i said perfect combination chemistry spark you and this person have a perfect spark you're perfect for each other um wow 
That is very rare. Not only the King and Queen of Pentacles, you have the World card, you have the Two of Cups, you have the Six of Cups. This is very good cards to get, Libra. But also, you might be a little bit nervous about how good the potential of the situation could be. Because it's like, there's a lot on the line, or there's a lot, yeah, a lot on the line, or a lot to lose or something. Whereas usually, I don't know, maybe in connections you were like, what have I got to lose? Whereas this sense, it's like, whoa, this is looking good, what if I mess it up? Or someone else feels that way about you. Could be on both ends. Feels a bit, little bit like Childish Crush as well, the Six of Cups. It feels a little bit like um, that energy of, I don't know, of that nervous butterflies, like, innocent, really liking someone. Because Page of Swords is really nervous energy, but also young energy. And you also have the kids here. Like, there's something about being young and nervous and naive, but you're not young necessarily. You're just feeling young again. You're feeling like you're, like, 17 again or something. You're feeling very young. Oh, Ten of Cups and Justice. You could also be getting married. I know that I've just jumped from maybe saying you're single to marriage but here we are justice here signing a contract things working in your favor if not everything's going in your favor everything will work out for you if you have any court things they will work in your favor ten of cups coming out here as well this is like family this is happy home life this is like happily ever after in a family so not only did you have two of cups six of cups king and queen of pentacles you now have ten of cups need i say more this is beautiful this is Everything going your way, everything is happening for you. If you're single, you have that perfect partner coming in very, very soon. And if you're in a relationship, it's going in the direction you want it to go. It's moving towards more commitment. It's moving towards marriage. It's moving towards whatever you want. So if you don't want marriage, don't worry. You're not getting it. But it's just that idea of that dream, happily ever after relationship. It's coming, which is very beautiful to see. What else is happening? What else is going on? How, what's your advice? Oh, Queen of Swords reverse. I guess your advice is not to speak. <laughs> Queen of Swords out normally would be somebody who's very humorous, very quick, very witty, very snappy, but in a good way. But I feel as if that reversed is kind of like hold your tongue a little bit, the advice. It's kind of like, mm, it would benefit you more to hold back. Even if you have something very smart to say, for some reason, your advice for the end of the month is to kind of wait with that two of wands. Wait. Um, I don't know why it's coming through. It might, I don't know, sometimes it's good to observe and see things without speaking. What else? Any more cards of advice for you? What would you benefit from knowing? Four of Pentacles. Hold on to your money if you've been spending it, and if you've been, and if you've been holding on to your money and not spending it, treat yourself because the Four of Pentacles is excess. So you're either excessively spending or you're excessively saving, and both of them are kind of symbolizing negativity in a way it's not healthy it's kind of very healthy to have that balance of like work hard play hard work hard play hard so if you're making a lot of money treat yourself and if you're saving and saving and saving i mean if you're spending and spending a lot more money save like there's some balance to come to balance to happen when it comes to your finances and i feel as if you already know this but it's just like for a lot of you, I feel like it's overly saving and holding on very tightly for a rainy day. And you're putting out this energy to the universe of lack, of having to hold on to everything you make. Whereas if you just treat yourself every now and again, just buy yourself one thing this month, one special thing. That it's almost like I feel like someone's watching this like, I'm not in the position to do that, Christy, I can't. There's something where it's like, even if you're just buying yourself something for two dollars there's something where it's just treat yourself treat yourself or buy buy the nicer version of something that you usually like um maybe there's two brands of pasta that you like but one of them's five dollars more and you're like ah there's something where it's like even just it could be something tiny tiny just just treat yourself to something tiny if you can't afford anything crazy but that little little idea of oh yeah i, I have the money to do that i had the money to it's going to tell the universe and it's going to attract more to you as if you have it already. If that makes sense, treat yourself. Because also, not even just to attract more, just because you deserve to feel good and you deserve to treat yourself at least once a month in some tiny way. And if you are overly spending and treating yourself a lot, also, it's okay to save a little bit. It's okay to, it's just all about balance. It's all about balance here. Eight of Pentacles, I feel like, also balance your workout. Stop 
overworking yourself, I feel. You might be overworking yourself in some way, burning the midnight oil. You don't have to do that. You don't. I feel like you're going to get a lot more done if you just balance that out a little bit. Success. Again, we have travel here. So not only do you have the world card, which is travel around the world, you also have travel in the form of the chariot moving. You also might be getting a new car of some type. You're something about moving, balancing again, black and white, balancing, multitasking, having a lot going on. I don't know why I'm getting something about a bucket come through. Like, that's really strange. Um, that's so weird. Somebody tell me what that's about. Um, that obviously isn't for everyone. But there is success to happen whilst multitasking, whilst trying to balance the budget, whilst trying to kind of juggle three things at once. You are going to make it all work. It's all going to come together very nicely. And you're also going to travel or get a new car or there's something about moving. But things are going to go the way you want them to go. Things are going to happen the way you want them to happen. And you will be successful in one way or another. Maybe not in the time you want, but it's going to happen a lot sooner than you're expecting. I'm going to wrap your reading up here, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will or if you just want to see more of my face, please let me know by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tools Tarot Tuesdays.